Hey guys, it's Kevin. Today we're going to troubleshoot uh, the main board, or we call the motherboard, of uh, IO1800. It's usually used for DTF. Uh, I have uh, two boards that have problem here. And uh, also I have a good board, uh, which you can see has a BCH seal. Those boards are, are good and tested. If you need a tested uh, board, you can just go to BCH. Technology.com and software serve for IL1800. You can see it's fully tested with a BCH seal. The board still had a, the heat sink on it. So let me uh, just uh, let me just take the heat sink off so it's easier for me to troubleshoot. You will need a, a number two screwdriver, Phillips screwdriver, and uh, just remove all those screws. Those two screws on the bottom is different from the other screws you removed. Those two screws is more like a more spiral, if you call it. It's less fine as the machine screw that, uh, that uh, screw to the transistors. Okay, let's get started. There are different components on the main board and you can test all of them using a multimeter. However, you have to figure out uh, what component it is and how to test it. And today we go to a quick and dirty way. Okay, if we go to BCH Technologies and we search for auto and uh, detect, so we get uh, this auto detect member testing tool. I also put a link to the to this page on the top corner. And um, basically, you don't have to know each component. Even even you don't need this tool, you can you can go to this page and here I list all the common uh, common markings on the Epson main board. For example, R is a resistor, and if you see a TP, that's probably a testing point, and the TH is the minister, and they'll come like this. And I want to mention it has a, a lay down battery, so you don't need to uh, install any battery in it. That's beauty. And also it comes with a USB charging cable. You just plug it into a computer and it will charge it. And uh, it has some uh, testing components like a LED light. And here's the charging cable. It will come in uh, as a pre-charged. Uh, if it doesn't turn on, and you can, you can just charge it before you use it. It comes in with uh, three props. Uh, I want to mention as uh, for the slot you're going to put them in. One is one, two is two, three is three. You can put any ones with one color, or you can put uh, another one to any twos or any threes. It comes with uh, the uh, the two for calibration. And basically, if you just connect a one, two, three, three props together, uh, it will become a two for calibrate. And uh, but but this one can't come with uh, with uh, this two to calibrate, so make sure you you insert into one and two and three slots. Again, you don't need this two. You can just connect all the three props together, short all three of them. It will be exactly like this, like like this thing. Yeah, I know you're going to lose lose this uh, within an hour. Press start. It's going to self testing mode, and. Uh, let it run, and then in the middle, it will ask you to remo remove the props. And you can see it asks you to uh, remove the props, remove it, and just let it run to finish. And that's just how easy it is to calibrate it. So we can pick any slot that says 1 to insert the first prop, and uh, uh, find another one that says two to insert the second, and uh, find another one says three to in to insert the 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 other one. To test a comp component is really easy. Just uh, connect to the legs. It doesn't matter if it's one or two or three. Just pick any two, connect them, and the press uh, start. And you can see it's figure out that this is dialed and uh, you connect between one and two. So it automatically detect what it is and detect the range and uh, do the test and uh, show you the results. And uh, for example, this one, you have no idea what it is. And uh, let's run a test. And it's a capacitor. You connect it with uh, number one and number three pin. 
Uh, but I need to warn you that if you have a register that's pretty large and you did not connect the pin securely, and uh, it, it might automatically detect this as a capacitor, and uh, you probably can understand why. See, it says that this is a capacitor, uh, although it's a resistor. So you, if you really know, you really need to know the. Uh, the resistance of the other register, you need a multimeter. You're going to see other than a row of uh, transistors, and uh, most of them are either R, which is register, or C, capacitors. And those normally use for clean up the current, so normally they're okay, and uh, you're more likely to blow out a capacitor than a transistor. And the first thing we want to look for is something Mark as F, which is a fuse. And uh, the TP is test testing point, and uh, QF is a transistor or MOSFET, and IC is integrated circuit. C is the connector, usually connect to cables, and uh, sometimes I also show you the color of the connector. And what you're looking for is something start with F, that's the fuse. Uh, because the other side is uh, transistors, uh, I'll just use a uh, uh, multimeter and uh, to, to test it. And uh, if I touch it, you're going to hear a beep. So if uh, if it's closed circuit, you're going to hear a beep. So I test bo uh, both both sides, and uh, you can see it's good. Uh, if you don't hear a beep, or you can uh, or you can see it's open circuit, and you can go to bchtechnologies.com just typing F1 or F2. And uh, this uh, it's not that this tiny one, it's this F1, F2 for L1800. And they will tell you uh, it replaced uh, 10 fuse for L1800 and uh, 1390. Now we're going to test those uh, transistors. There are four of those. Because they are in circuit, they are mounted on the board, uh, you cannot uh, to test it uh, on board uh, as a transistors. See if I do this, and uh, end the result will not will not be a transistor. Uh, let me show you a quick and dirty way to do this on board. So if we pick the first and uh, the third transistors, that's the first pair. The second pair is the second and uh, fourth. And uh, the method is the same. It will be closed circuit and it's about 43 ohms. And for the two middle pins, it should be an open circuit or it might show up as capacitor on your multitester. The two pin on the right will be no resistance. It's the same method uh, for both pairs. And uh, now we have our, our troubleshooting board. So uh, two left, uh, 42, that's good. Two middle. And you can see some of them is uh, no resistance, and uh, some uh, sometimes it's good. So the two middle pins, if it is a closed circuit, it doesn't mean it's bad. You have to test it. But if you see a closed circuit like this in the two left pin, and uh, though those uh, this pair must be bad. I'll mark the one that we think is bad uh, with a marker. And uh, for the second board that we're gonna test. And you can see this one is bad. It's the same way as you uh, using the multitester. It just will, I mean, for, for this thing, for something this simple, it will be easier just use a multimeter. And you can see it's 0.23 ohms, so this one is closed circuit. And uh, now I'm testing the, the second pair. Uh, between the two and the four, and the two left pin should be about 43 ohms. Let's see. So this is good. And the uh, two right pins and uh, 0 0.23 ohm, so that's a closed circuit, so that's good. So let's mark them. Uh, so A1 and A3 sh should be good. And A A two and A four should be bad. Uh, the reason is A two and A four the left uh, the the left pin 
is a closed circuit. Uh, based on my, on my experience, uh, just go with the left pin and don't, a patient, uh, do, don't pay attention to the middle pin and the right pin. The multi-tool will tell you if uh, it's uh, good or not after you're taking them off. If you need a transistor pair to be replaced, you can go to bchtechnology.com and uh, for, search for IO1800. Transistor pair. And uh, there should be a number on your transistor too. Uh, make sure it matches A2210 and uh, CA082. And also for this weird guy left, um, that's a thermistor. So if you use multi tool, it's not going to give you like a result because the resistance is too high. You can see, I think it's a diode. Uh, sometimes I think it's a capacitor. I usually use this quick and dirty way to test it. And uh, first thing is uh, I test the uh, resistance. You can see it's about 40, uh, 40 kilo, kilo ohms. And then I use a heat gun or uh, like a, you can use a hair dryer too, just to blow some hot air on it. And test again when it's hot. And you're going to see it decrease significantly. Okay, this is just some quick and dirty ways to test the L1800 motherboard. If you like it, uh, please subscribe it and I'll share more tips in the future. I hope you enjoyed this video. Visit us at www.bchtechnology.com or locally at Greensboro, North Carolina. Cheers.